Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. All right, folks, I'm out at Cypress Ridge, and this is beyond exciting. This is a huge alligator uh, that appears to be very orange. And what's interesting is I saw this alligator in the news, actually two of them. And I'll tell you, the alligator diet uh, consists of fish, turtles, snakes. If you're in Louisiana, it could be crawfish and crabs. Um, they're highly opportunistic, so they can actually hunt terrestrial animals uh, on the sides of roads and, and paths, and they will ambush their prey, but then, of course, drag them into the water um, to do a death roll, which we all know about. That's the preferred uh, method of predation. Now, their teeth are designed to hold the prey in their jaws, but not actually chew the food, which is rather interesting. Um, they have 80 teeth and they get replaced throughout a lifetime, uh, but they can attack a deer or a bobcat, but that would be unusual. They usually stick to smaller prey. And I am pretty excited to be able to see this magnificent animal. So American alligator is not normally orange, but apparently it was in what's called brumation, and which is not quite hibernation, and it must be near water um, or mud that had a rusty pipe near it, or, or it could be clay, uh, which is actually, you know, inside the dirt. So isn't this unbelievable? All right, guys, so fabulous American alligator, and it was in the news, that's how I knew about it. Hooray for Alex, woo, we're filming, and um, it's exciting. All right, so we're out here in Bluffton, and I'll backtrack a little bit so you can see this beautiful lake and it's very exciting. So again, this is American alligator and he's just turned a different color uh, because of the gator hole that he was probably in in the last couple months. It's Karen Martz, have a great day.